For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. There are, of course, plenty of people who know plenty about the brain and its activity, the, the Daniel Dennett's and the Sam Harris's and so on, who say, well, now we can see the way the brain works. We can assume that it's all a material process going on. When we see the bits flash up in our brain, when we're having this experience or that experience, that explains the experience. What, what's your perspective on that? Yes, my perspective on that is that we need to be very clear on what the science tells us and where we make a leap and start to make a philosophical and worldview statement that the science doesn't uh, get you to. So the science gets us to um, connection. Um, there is a, a connection between uh, the mind and the brain very clearly um, that we see both in the development and you know in, um, uh, the unborn and in sort of child development also there's a clear connection in degenerative disease states and what you're seeing going on mentally um, and of course just in a healthy volunteer if you put them in an MRI scanner and give them a task to do you will see networks lighting up that correspond to that use of their, their um, uh, their mind and so clearly mind and brain are connected that is where the science gets us to but the science doesn't say anything about the nature of that connection um, and that is where people uh, move into a, a worldview perspective on it you know you might see the the, the front page of um, Scientific American in 2017 had a had a headline about um, looking at brain networks and how neurons create thoughts now, that is not a scientific statement. There is nothing in any study that will get you to the conclusion that neurons create thoughts. That's a worldview perspective. And we need to be really clear on when, when we make that leap and where suddenly we've moved out of the realm of science, scientific methodology and inference into worldview mm. and philosophy.